Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Blue Dragon on hard mode on the Xbox 360. The last time, we met up with the townsfolks from Talta Village, and we saved them from some steel eating tigers, and then we had a nice little reunion here in the campsite, and now we're going to escort them to uh, Jabral Castle Town, so they're not going to be terrorized by that bastard land shark anymore. So, after talking to everybody here, and the requirement for moving on, by the way, in case you forgot was he had to go into um, Jiro's tent right here and talk to him and his parents and now we get to go talk to the campfire and that will advance the uh, the story in case you were forgetting how to do such such items you know what I'm talking about anyways let's just uh, get talking here we ought to turn in before too long you're right we should get an early start yes we are so close to Gibraltar. I'm ashamed that I'm the one who always needs saving. Don't worry about it, Grandpa. We'll protect everyone. And we can do that with our magic. Here, let me show you. I was scared before, Shu. But this is... this is simply amazing. Uh, yeah, now would definitely be a good time to save your progress here because there is an achievement coming up and it can be kind of bastardly to get. So let's just uh, let's just uh, make sure we're saved up here. Uh, let's see where are we at. Um, yeah, let's save on slot two. Why not? And there we go. Looks like we got everybody back in the party. Very nice. So, without any further ado, let's get this party started. By the way, this is one of the good. This is one of the reasons why you want the barrier magic class available right now. It'll make your life so much easier. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go over the tutorial. Okay, guarding the wagons. The health meters for both wagons are displayed in the upper left of the screen. If a wagon is attacked by a monster, its health will go down. Okay. Feed the monster so they cannot attack the wagons. The game is over if the wagon's health meter reaches zero. The number below the health meter shows how many repair kits are left. Fix the wagons, touch one of them, and press A. Luckily, we shouldn't need those. Uh, remove the obstacles from the wagon's path for it to continue. If you can protect the wagons all the way to Gibraltar, your mission is complete. Stay alert and guard the wagons well. Okay, no more tutorials. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, you have to watch out for um, various monsters that will attack your, your wagon as you're going. And if you manage to get all the way through it without having your uh, your wagon to be attacked then you get a nice little achievement for it. I already have the achievement on this save file so it won't pop up but it'll be a bastard to get. Okay that fat pack rat we need it we actually need to fight this guy first before we can uh, use our barrier on him. So uh, these guys are weak to fire and you can steal a fresh garlic from a common steel and a stout garlic from a rare steel. So let's uh, fire these guys up. Yeah, there we go. These guys will go down reasonably fast, so that's going to be nice. Let's see, Flera. Actually, you know what? You go ahead and hit him. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, sure, why not? Go for the mow down. That should, that should do it. And you go ahead and just defend. I think they should be dead. I mean, they got a reasonable amount of health, but... Okay, yeah, they're pretty much easy. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, now you want to pop that field barrier. Uh, why is my field barrier not set? I don't know. But yeah, let's uh, pop that field barrier. And now we get to uh, make sure that... Uh, Basically, our field barrier will take care of the tigers and the rats because we've already defeated both enemies now. So this makes our job so much easier. Instead of having to interrupt for uh, the battles, now we can just kill them. So after that first set of rats, you want to kind of stay in between the uh, the wagons over here. And then more enemies will show up. Let's see. I'm going to say more you. Let's see. There we go. There's you. And wasn't there another one? No. No. I thought there was going to be another one that appeared. 
Eh. Oh well. Alright. Uh, up here there's gonna be a... There we go. This guy... Whenever the, uh, whenever the rats appear, you want to go for them before the tigers because the rats will attack faster than the tigers will. So... Let's see, we got that. So we can grab the treasure chest. Thorn branch. Very nice. So you always want to stay, uh, you always want to try to go for the, uh, the rats before the tigers. Alright, I think we're home free for a few minutes here. Let's see, up here we have to... Okay, yeah, we gotta push these down. I am protecting the wagons, don't worry about it, guys. They still have full health. Well, I think. Yeah, 100 health, they got full health. Yeah, if you get too far ahead, well, yeah, you gotta protect the wagons, so... Oh well. All right, so let's push. Just let's wait for this guy to. Oh, come on! All right, I want to push you down, and then have the camera facing towards the wagons right here. And where are they? They should show up. They should show up pretty soon here. There. We Go get you and okay, good. Ooh, that guy almost got him. Yeah, those two are kind of tricky right there. Okay, let's go back towards the back of the wagons here. This one can be. This part can be kind of tricky. You're gonna have a uh, three sets of enemies, so that'll be uh, that'll be that'll be fun. This guy, get him. Uh, Kill you and Tiger Uppercut. All right, beautiful. We got him. All right. So now there's going to be more coming up after these rocks. All right, go on, go on up there, guys. All right, so let's push all these down. Still want to stay reasonably well ahead of these guys. Come on. I, I know I gotta protect you. That's why I'm here for guys. Uh, let's see. Keep on going. And we Alright, there's gonna be Alright, they're gonna come up. There we go. Let's keep you. Ah, come here. No. Ah. No, no, no. Die, die, die. Ah, fuck. They did it. Ah, can I redo this? Damn it. Uh, shoot. You know what? Let's, uh, just try us again then. Eh, we almost got him. Just uh, that little bastard decided to be a little bastard. So yeah, some of the some of those rats are the much bigger problem than the uh, the tigers, just because they attack a lot faster than the uh, than the uh, tigers do. It's just they're harder. That's all it is. All right, we can ignore the tutorial this time, so that'll be that'll make our life nice and easy. Yeah, okay, I, I I don't care. Go away. All right, no tutorial. There we go. The only problem is we do got to fight Mr. Uh, Mr. Pack Rat again, so that's a shame. But oh well. Yeah, I know I got to protect the wagon. That's why I'm like right in front of it, dude. But I want to stay a little bit ahead of him. That way I can. That way I can. Uh, be ahead of the pack rat when he shows up. There we go. Alright, I should have got a back attack there again. Or not. Either way, they're not really all that bad. And Cloak, you should be able to knock one out, shouldn't you? Yeah, you should be able to do it. Wow, that did a pretty good chunk of damage there. Last time it only did like 500, right? Wow, that was a pretty good amount. Alright, uh, let's put my... I don't know. Uh, I guess it, I guess it uh, took the uh, 
the field barrier off due to the fact that, uh, well, they were out of the party, I guess. Alright, Ratsy, where you at? Yeah, the first time I did this, I didn't have the uh, field barrier, and it took me several attempts to get it, like five or six. It just makes it so much easier having the barrier for the fact that, well, you don't gotta waste time fighting them in, in between each battle, or you don't gotta waste time with the battles each time, so it just makes it so much easier. Alright, come here, Ratsy. There you go. Let's take you and Tiger Uppercut. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, I want to run ahead and try to get these rocks pushed down. But if I go too far ahead, then the scared little donkey horse thingies. Yeah, I think they're more donkeys than horses. Or. They're, they're kind of like donkey ram hybrids. But yeah, if you get too far ahead, they get scared. Why? I don't know. They just do. Get you. Let's get... You want to push the rock down there, dude? Thank you. And it's either this one or the next one. I always forget. But either way, the rats will come up very soon here. Okay, I think it is this rock right here. Why they wait till after the uh, rocks are pushed down to attack, I'm not really sure, but they just do. Alright, so let's move on to the back again. Alright, there we go. If you happen to know exactly where they're going to pop out, like, I, I think the first rat's going to pop out, like, right here, then... It makes it a little easier because you don't have to worry about, uh... There we go. Got you. Oh, co oh, dude, don't you... Don't you go... Ah, uh, you got stuck. Stay still. Ah, right, beautiful. Ooh, that was close because I got stuck on the damn something. I don't know. All right, so let me just make sure the position on this next one. Uh, let's see. All right, so... I am protecting the wagons. See the red thing around me? That means that the enemies cannot attack me. Or, well, they can, but they'll just go to their doom. Come on. Come on, horsey, donkey, ram, whatever you are. We did it again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this one more time here, and alrighty, we're back at the uh, second batch of uh, rocks, and we're gonna try this again here. I think I know what I gotta do this time to make it actually work. So let's push this over, and immediately get the tiger, and then get over here, and immediately don't bother with the uh, field barrier. Actually, get a uh, what you call it? A uh, a counter circle and fight both enemies at the same time and this will make it a little easier to to actually uh, have enough time to get them. I mean sure you actually have to fight them but eh, it's only a few battles. Try this way you get a few experience points and some gold which you don't get with the, uh, the field barrier. Yay a whole 17 damage. Beautiful. Yeah, does a pretty good amount of damage to him, though. Let's see. Let's just uh, go all the way up. And yeah, that'll do a nice 600 damage. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh... We can always use the Zephyr. Probably a bit overkill for the healing that we need, but... Eh, I'd rather have a little more than... A little less. Yikes. 
almost 800 damage. And they only have something like uh, 400 HP, I think. I forgot there was a second row of these guys. Oops. Oh, well. Let's see if I can't just kill them with the nice charged mow down. Eh, that didn't go all the way. But, eh, not, not quite. But you know what? How about we just get you guys with the water spell? Eh, that should take care of you guys. Or not. How about that? There you go. Much better. Alright, so yeah, the, the trick for those guys, just make sure you get them in the encounter circle, and then you'll have a much better time with it. Ooh, white magic level 3 for Phoenix. Very nice. Uh, let's see, Shu and Muramaru are very close to their, uh, their new skills. Alright, so let's push this down. And I think this should be the last group of enemies coming up right here. Yeah, you and you. And there we go. That is the last group of enemies you have to worry about. And if you still have 100 HP, then you will get the achievement. Let's see, where is it at? Uh, let's see. Where is the... Here we go. Wagon of score. Perfect. Nice 30... A nice 30 gamer points or whatever. Yeah, I didn't play too far on this file. I, I mean, I, I don't know why I started playing on this file instead of my, my other file that I use, but yeah, oh well. Either way, that is the escort quest right there. And as you can see, it can be kind of a bastard at times, but we got through it well enough. It only took me two more tries off off screen because I, uh, because I forgot about the damn encounter circle, though. I kept forgetting about the damn encounter circle, so that made it harder than it needed to be. Oh yeah, real safe with all those tigers. There's too many. We're completely surrounded. Up way too soon. Let's make a break for it. We've got to get these villagers to safety. We have to draw the monster's attention away from them. Grandpa, we'll hold them up. You guys get out of here. I understand what you're saying, Shu, but there's no way we can outrun these creatures. Not you too. That kind of talk is going to get us wiped out. <laughs> Looks like it's all up to me. All right, then, I'll do it. I'm gonna do this. Even if the rest of you are giving up, I won't give up! King Gibral the 16th. I am here to help you. Tell me, from whence do you come? Tell the village. We are on our way to Gibral, your majesty. I see. Very well. Please direct your people to our carriages. Our forces will escort you to Gibral. You there. Come on. We're gonna stay and fight! All of you can use shadows, too. Huh? What do you mean, too? Your Majesty, please take the villagers to the castle. I will provide the rear guard. Very well. 
I'm relying on you, Zola. Sir, we'll fight too. Uh, Maro will join you. I'm Zola, captain of King Jabral's Blade Masters. Let's engage the foe. Wow! So you can use magic as well. Don't just stand there. Come, come with me. You, 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 you're so cool. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Marumaro? Quickly, your majesty. Yes. Move out! Let's go, my fellow magic users. Yeah! Right! <gasps> Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Maru Maru. Hold your nut there, I mean, I mean, you just met the lady. I'm sure she's uh, tall and attractive, but try not to get too excited. Besides, you're dead. Ow. Okay, this is getting off to a fantastic start here. Um, let's start with the mo down at least. As soon as we get to Zola. I was gonna say, then we can revive everybody, but uh, yeah, this is this is not going as well as I would like it to go. Okay, let's uh, look at heal. I need some Phoenix talent on you and Phoenix talent on. Yeah, let's give it to Maro Maro. He has the best mo down that we got. But it's nice to see that we got another uh, another shadow user to join us up with uh, Zola over there. She's actually a very good character, and in case you can't tell, she's actually going to be our uh, fifth character for for later on. So, if you couldn't tell, well, spoilers, she's going to join our party eventually. Not right off the bat. We have to do a few things, but yeah, she'll be with us. Alright, hopefully we can all survive here, and if not, well, oh well. We should, we should be good, though. I mean, that first round is just a real bastard, but other than that, we should be good to go. Alright, uh, Maro Maro will go ahead and give him a nice slowdown, but that's, uh... Okay, I wasn't trying to go that far, but okay. Alright. So, uh, I think she starts off this battle as a assassin, which is why she doesn't really have any skills going on. But, yeah, I think she's an assassin. Let's see, do we have any light crystals? Yes, we do. Uh, we have also have a grand light crystal. Um, you know what? Screw it. We don't even need it. Let's just uh, let's use the thorn vines. That'll still do a fair amount of damage. Yeah, not a whole particular lot, but enough. Ooh, we poisoned one of them. That didn't do a whole lot of damage at all, did it? Huh? Does Marmar still only have a? Uh, what is it? Uh, I think Maro Maro might only have the the uh, mow down level one. And should I? Yeah, there's no point healing because, well, if I don't kill them, they're gonna kill me. So let's see. Let's get a nice water off. Uh, let's, there we go. With any luck, that will kill them. Okay, not quite, but. Apparently they don't feel like attacking me right now. That's good. I can live with that. There we go. Much better. Much better. And I think... Are those the two that were poisoned? No, the two that were poisoned are the ones that are dead, aren't they? Uh, let's just go for a regular mode down. Okay, now you're poisoned too. That works. What? His, his Modown is way too weak for some reason. Maybe it is Modown level 1. I thought it was Modown level, level 2, but... Oh, well. Ooh, Maru Maru, you're very close to level 14 for your, uh, your Generalist class, sir. Me. Ah, 
It's Gibral. We made it here in one piece. glad that everyone made it. So am I. And we owe it to King Gibral. Maloka, you Lady Zola! N Lady Zola? <laughs> okay, 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 Lady Zola! Uh, well, I suppose so. He is really weird. Zola's shadow is in the form of a bat. Devi are fascinated by things like bats. We'd consider them scary, but they find these things intriguing. Well, that may be true, but I think he's stuck on Zola. She is pretty cool. You four, you're quite skilled. You too. You'd better get some rest. Playable. All right, and here we are in Gibral Castle Town. Uh, this area is actually very, very big. Uh, there's no way we're gonna explore it all in one sitting, so we're probably gonna have to do this in several, uh, several uh, attempts here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just and just get a few things out of the way here, and the next time we'll explore uh, everything else. Let's see, we got the cure all right there. All right, there's uh, let's see, there's one there's only a few main things I actually want to take care of. Let's see. Let's go here to get to the main area proper. And, yeah, this place is going to be very, very big. If you're going to search everything for nothing, it's going to take you quite a while to search everything in here. Playable. So, yeah, you got this entire little, you got this entire little courtyard area down here. Got a lot of people to talk to if, if you like talking to people. There's a bunch of houses. And then there's a bunch of uh, shops up here, too, that we can uh, take care of. Like I said, I'm only going to take care of a very few things right now. So let's get that done. Let's see. I want to go to... Where is it? Is it... Alright, uh, ignore Pops over there for a minute. Okay, or not, since he won't let us. Okay, so they're all they're all going to beg the king for permission to stay in his town. Gotcha. All right, so basically, when you're ready to uh, advance the plot, come back and talk to this guy and say, uh, "Well, actually, no, you don't talk to you don't talk to him. You talk to the innkeeper and say, oh, 'Oh, I'd like to rest,' and then that'll that'll get the uh, plot going. I do believe. I think. Right, let's see. Who do I? Who am I trying to find over here? It's not you." There we go, this guy right here. See this guy with the backpack? You definitely want to talk to him. You remember all those nothings that we keep getting whenever we're searching stuff? This guy, he is the nothing man. He will trade, well, he won't trade in your nothings, but what he'll do is he'll count how many nothings you found, and based on that, he'll give you a certain amount of, uh, a certain amount of, uh, well, not a certain amount, he will give you prizes based on how many nothings you have. So 500 or 55 nothings. Uh, you probably you probably have about 600 by the time you finish uh, searching everything in town. So let's see, for 50 nothings we get the leather belt. That is a accessory. We get a stomach band. That's another accessory. We get acorn shoes. That's another accessory. Ballet shoes. Another accessory. There we go. I think the next accessory is at like 600. I forget. I'm going to go ahead and list all those in the video description because I don't remember what they all are off the top of my head. But let's check out the stuff that we got just from uh, from those right there. Let's see. We got see, we got the acorn shoes. So those uh, drop you back to the back row if your HP falls low. That's pretty nice because you, uh, enemies won't be able to physically target you in the back row. So you'll be safe. But at the same time, if you're trying to like... Uh, if you're trying to be a physical damage dealer, then you're going to want most of your physical damage from up front. So it's kind of good, but it's kind of not that great. Let's see. Ballet shoes. They just uh, give you status resistant powers. Um, I don't think... 
I don't think they confer immunity, uh, but they do they do offer protection. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can't find where these uh, ballet shoes are here. Um, I'm going to see if I can't find the exact stuff they resist. Let's see. Where are you guys? You are... Alright. Ballet shoes. You are... Nope, it doesn't say exactly how much, it just says that it resists leather belt. Uh, let's see, that gives you a nice little HP boost, that's pretty nice, nice little 45 HP. That would be good on like a Maro Maro, I guess. Uh, stomach band, you get so you get a little bit of gold when you attack, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And you can't be put to sleep, so that's pretty nice. So, oh, and it gives you a nice fat uh, HP boost too, so that's also very nice. So yeah, those are some very nice accessories right there. So it's well worth collecting your nothings just to get the accessories from this guy. He'll eventually give you some of the uh, some of the really good accessories, but those are still a couple hundred nothings away. But yeah, you definitely want to go around and search everything and find all the nothings. All right, the other place that I wanted to go in town on this right now was the inn, and I don't want to talk to the uh, I don't want to talk to the guy that uh, oh there's a nothing right there. What do you know, shucks. I don't want to talk to the innkeeper because I don't want to advance the plot just yet. But I think there's a few more accessories in here, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I think they're hidden in, like, the rooms and stuff. By the way, in between this episode and next, I'll probably go around off-screen and search all the items for all the nothings and all that other stuff. So, I'll probably do all that off-screen in between this episode and the next. Let's see, where is the... Yeah, they're around here somewhere. Or maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure... Okay, here's one right here. Okay, another leather belt. So that's nice. There we go. So more, uh, more HP or... Was that... Yeah, leather belt. Yeah, leather belt was the one that gave me HP. So yeah, some of these early items that he gives you, not too great because they're duplicates. Some of the later items he gives you, pretty great even if they are duplicates. Alright, what do we got over here? We got a pair of magic shoes. As you can guess, those uh, those will boost your magic, so that's nice. Let's see, let's see how much is boosted by though. Let's see, magic shoe, oh, not magic, MP, my bad. Uh, 30 MP, and you can't get dizzied, so that means all of a sudden, you can't be silenced, like, uh, Kluke is so fond of being silenced for some reason, so that'll be very nice. Let's see, we have, uh, one more treasure chest to find, let's see, where is it? Where is that last treasure hidden? I know it's around here somewhere, I just gotta find the little bastard. All right, we already got you. We already got you. We already got. Did I go in here already? Probably. Where is this last treasure chest? Oh, treasure chest. Where are you? Oh, it might be down in one of these uh, rooms or hallways. Now that I think about it, I think it might be down in the other hallway to the uh, side over there. Oh, or it's right here. Item. And there we go, we get the dog collar. Uh, this is a kind of weird accessory. It gives you permanent stink status. So that kind of sucks. But at the same point, uh, you get a little bit of HP and MP, and you get a nice little uh, resistance to the earth. Uh, Earth, el Earth elemental attacks. So, on the one hand, yay for less damage from, like, the ground spell or ground dust or ground dust. But on the other hand, you always have a constant stink status, which means enemies will follow you much longer and just be more aggressive trying to find you. So, I've seen a lot of topics on like game facts. They're like, oh, why did my character suddenly uh, have the stink status? I can't get rid of it. And they're like, oh, check your dog collar right there. So yeah, it's. It's okay, but it's not really worth it, I guess. But anyways, those are all the, uh... I think that's all the treasure chests. If there is any other treasure chests in the end, they're not really all that great. Let me just make sure. 
But yeah, those were the th those were the main things that I wanted to get from the inn was the those accessories and the nothings from the uh, nothing man over there. So there we go. Let's see. Let me check over here real fast just to make sure. I don't think there's anything here, but yeah, it never hurts. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. So there is everything I wanted to do in the town. Uh, tomorrow or next time we will just uh, explore the rest of the. Gibral Castle town area, and we'll talk to some people, and we'll go to the towns, and or not the towns, the uh, shops, and then we'll, and then we'll see if we can't manage to talk to uh, King Gibral the, what did he say, the fourteenth, and see what he can do for our peoples. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Oh yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna be checking all the uh, items for nothings and all that other good stuff. So, all right, good night, guys.